going to talk about the tear-offs. Uh, anyone that has an arrow next to them, we talked about it in the previous videos, anyone that has a little arrow in the lower right-hand corner, you have something called a tear-off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold on the shape tool, and notice they come up, but if I slide my arrow all the way to the end, there's that little triangle with this little bar. When I click on that and let go, I keep this dialog box open. And that's real convenient because I don't want to have to constantly go into the toolbar and click and hold. All of my tools are right here. So if I want to switch between a rectangle tool, I click on that. If I want to go to my ellipse tool, now I have everything out here. I'm also going to show you now. I'm going to get rid of the circle by hitting, selecting and hitting the delete button. Click on the square, hit the delete button. Now I'm going to talk to you about uh, the star tool and the uh, polygonal tool. So what I do first, I'm going to click on the star tool. Notice if I click and drag, I get a star. If I let go, there's the star, and it comes up in the colors because that's what I've designated it to be. Now let's say I don't want a star, or maybe the star I want to have more sides to it. So I'm going to hit delete, I select the object, hit delete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the star, but I don't let go. If I let go, it's going to solidify that as the shape. So if I don't let go of it, I'm going to delete that first and I click on the star tool, which actually is over here now in my tear-off, if I click and drag, there's my star. I don't let go. I go to the keyboard. I use the arrow tools on the keyboard. Let's say I want to make a triangle out of this. I want just the three sides. I use the downward arrow. I click. There's four, and there's three. So now I've created a triangle, and now I let go. I'm going to delete that again. I'm going to do the same thing with the, uh, the polygonal tool, the polygons. So I click on that. Again, if I click and drag and let go, I will have my side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. If I come over here and delete that, now I go back to the tool, click and hold, and if I go to my up arrow, notice how now I have seven sides, and now there's eight sides. If I was creating a stop sign or something that needed eight sides, I could add nine, 10, 11, I can continue that, or I can get it back to the size that I want, the, sh uh, the amount of sides that I want. If I let go, there's my side. I can't change it now. Once you let go, you cannot change the amount of sides you have.